Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am here with the Nexus Player Android TV. Now I know this player is a little older and most of, re of the retailers that did sell this unit have stopped selling it now. But I was able to pick one up on a local buy and sell website for $40. And I couldn't pass it up. I know that they were on sale for like $29.99. I missed my chance. They had them at Target and I missed it. I went to every Target around here trying to find one. This runs a Intel Atom at 1.8 gigahertz, one gigabyte of RAM, eight gigabytes of built-in storage. And it also has a PowerVR 6430 GPU. It's the same GPU that was found in the iPhone 5S the A7 CPU that Apple used, used the PowerVR 6430, and the, the GPU is actually very good. You know, I know it's older now, but it's still a decent GPU for an Android system. And I wanted to test out the PSP emulator, so I just want to show you that this is the Nexus player. I do have it rooted, and the reason I rooted it was because I was having trouble mounting storage to different apps. So I had to use stick mount, I rooted the unit, installed stick mount. Now I can use a 64 gigabyte USB 3.0 stick inside of any of these, you know, any app or any emulator that will access external storage. So we're going to get into it and try the PPSSPP emulator. Now I have to use version 1.1.0 because this has an x86 CPU, like it, it's found in laptops and desktops. It's an Intel processor. And the newer PPSSPP, I could not get it to work. It would tell me that I need the x64 add-on and or the x86 add-on. So I searched online and I found that version 1.1.0 works. So let's get into it. First up, we're going to try God of War. Now this is a hardcore game to run on most any PSP emulator. And to tell you the truth, I do have a load set, set up. And this is going to be quick because this runs like butt. Now I have everything on low. The PSP resolution is set to 1. I have the spline texture set to low. All the speed hacks on and it still runs at a very, very bad frame rate. Now, I did expect this to happen. This game is pretty hard to run on a lot of systems. But as you can see, it's just like a big old butt running on this thing. So I wanted to show you guys this first because I know this is gonna be the first thing. Run God of War! And, you know, I wasn't even going to run it because I knew it, it, it will not work. Just like, um, you know, when I run N64 emulators, first thing is I get run Ocarina of Time. I know it's not going to work on the unit I'm using. So that's why I do not, you know, even make a video of it. So I'm going to exit out of this game. Didn't have any luck with this. But I had great success with other games on PSP. I have not got into the gameplay of Burnout, but we're going to try Burnout Legends. I did turn the music off and I started a save file here. I am on 1x PSP resolution and I am going to try to turn this up. When I get into the game, we'll see how it plays. See how far we can go up with it. And I'll just do a single event race random and we'll use this compact here okay so even at this low resolution we are having trouble I'm gonna pause it we'll back out settings And I will turn on a hack for this PowerVR 
So this is supposed to speed up, but it does create artifacts. We will see how it does with this game. Nope. So I was actually hoping, and I thought that this game would run very well on this unit. Now this is like a live test. I haven't, you know, I never tried this game. So, so we got another crappy running game here. So I'll back out because this is unplayable. I mean, there's no point in going any further with it. Monster Hunter. Now, I have never played this game myself. I have started a save file. And I have got into training. So, this is pretty much as far as I have gotten to the game. I don't even know how to draw my sword. So, we're going to load this up and see what happens. But, we are at 30 FPS. And even with the speed hack off, because it does create artifacts, and sometimes your character goes invisible with the Power VR speed hack. We'll turn that back off, and this game runs very well. So I don't know what I gotta do here. I was able to get, oh, there we go. I was able to get into fighting a monster earlier. I need to go, I think it was back up here. I went and Possibly no. So bear with me. I might fast forward this a little bit to till I can find that monster I was fighting. I, I don't know what I did. I didn't read any instructions on this game, which I probably should go back and do now. There we are. Okay. So I did see, oh yeah. Ah, it's a monster. And I got two of them, so, oh. I hit fast forward on there. So what I gotta, okay, a block. And I keep putting my sword away. That's not a good thing to do when there's freaking crazy dinosaurs out. Yeah. Come on. So, just bear with me. I have not played this game, like I said. And I'm, I'm being truthful. So, we'll see what happens. Is there... I don't know if there's any more monsters over this way. Oh. Okay, I'll just put that on. There we go. Now I turn the fast forward back off. So these are some crazy looking creatures here. What I'm going to do is back out and see if we can up the resolution. I got a feeling that we may be able to go at least to three times. And when you go on up, it makes the game look so much better. So we'll go to three times the resolution of the PSP. Continue. And this really looks like a PS3 game now. Some of the first gen PS3 games that came out. Oh, dude. I feel bad. These guys are just like elk chilling out here, eating some grass, and I'm coming over and slicing their faces off. I want to ride this thing. Can I ride him? Ah! No. So all I can really do is kill him. And my camera, I don't know. I might have the buttons set up incorrectly for camera view. Because it looks like I should be able to turn my camera. Either way, I just wanted to show you that this game does run very well on the Nexus player running the PPSSPP emulator. We're steady at 30 frames per second. 100% PSP. Oh. There's probably one over there, but I can't see him. So up in the top right hand corner you see we have uh, the FPS and the speed of the PSP emulator. 
and we're pretty much steady at 99 to 100 on the speed and 30 FPS. Now, I don't know how many, you know, monsters can be on screen at one time, but I'm pretty sure that this game should be able to handle a lot of big monsters on screen. If it doesn't handle it at the 3X mark, it will definitely handle it at the 2X mark. So we'll back out, and I'm going to try a different game now. Now this was just a quick rundown. If you'd like to see more gameplay or different games running, let me know. I tried Midnight Club. It runs like crap. It on most emulators. Midnight Club and Gears of, or God of War are some of the hardest games to run for me on any of these uh, devices I have. Little Big Planet, like always. I love this game when it came out. I actually still love this game. So we'll load this up. Best suited to you. But it looks really good at 3X. Like it looks just like the PS3 version. This game may be able to go on up to four. For this test here, I'm just doing the 3X mark, though. So on a lot of the devices that I've tested this game, the first level runs flawlessly. And then when we get into the second... Well, this is the tutorial. The tutorial level runs flawlessly. But when we get into the first stage, um, stuff starts slowing down tremendously. So... I will get to the first one. We'll see how it performs there. So I made it past the tutorial and we're getting into the first stage here. And like I said, we do have some slowdown. Um, it's not bad. 27. So if I take it down to 2x resolution, we should get full speed gameplay. I'm going to do that now. You can just go to settings, rendering resolution, 2. So 28, 26, 28 frames, not too bad. It is definitely playable. If you can find one of these Nexus players for cheap. Now you may even be able to find them for close to 20 US dollars um, on local buy and sell websites. People just bought them and they don't use them anymore. They want to get rid of them. I do suggest getting one of these for that price. So for $40, which I paid, I am actually happy with the $40 I spent. You know the Raspberry Pi is a $35 unit, given you don't have VAT taxes and everything like that, but this is really cool. You're going to need a micro USB to female full-size USB and an adapter because it has a small um, micro USB like a phone charger that is an OTG port. So what I have is a OTG cable connected to a four port USB hub. And I am able to plug in a controller USB stick, mouse, keyboard, anything I need. And I have a 64 gigabyte USB 3.0 stick. And it works perfectly. So we'll get out of this. We're going to try one more game here today. So we did these. 
another harder game to run would be I know everybody wants to see Kingdom Hearts Dark Resurrection we'll do Kingdom Hearts Here we go. This is one of my most requested, besides Chains of Olympus. So just seeing it now, I got a good feeling we're going to get some decent gameplay out of this um, box using this game. Now I can make a root tutorial. I know this is an older unit, but if you guys want, I can make an unlock, you know, unlock bootloader and a root tutorial. Very, very simple. There are a few applications that will automatically do this. You just connect it to your Windows computer, press a few buttons, you're unlocked and rooted in no time with recovery installed. Tomorrow's the exam. Anybody want to spar? Okay, a few more sprites or characters on screen. See how it does with some effects. Yeah, the performance is very good on this. And if you do have any trouble, you can always drop it down to 1x. So, do I recommend getting a Nexus player? Yes. 20, 30, or 40 dollars US would be definitely worth it. Given that the Raspberry Pi 3 and all of the other small boards, Raspberry Pi 3 is pretty much the cheapest board that you can get. There are some others, but the development isn't there. Android has a very strong development team. Tons of people love Android. You always got XDA to install new ROMs, recoveries. I mean, pretty much anything you can think of, you can do with Android, so... That's it for now, guys. That was the PPSSPP, the PSP emulator running on the Nexus player. Thanks for watching. If you have any requests, please let me know. I will be doing more emulator tests on this unit. So like always, thanks for watching.